came back and she said I was crazy and so I just called the mental health center about five times one night and then I got $25 from my brother, drove about 80 miles on it, got my watch fixed, went to a couple of health food stores and had a drink, all this is in Martinsville, rode my bicycle 20 miles and went to the drugstore six times and just did one thing at a time, you know, I was just trying to get my life back together but I guess I was doing it too fast for some people but I know exactly what I do, I know when I make right and left hand turns and I can count to 10 when I get to 11, it's 2 because we cross out zeros in base 10 in the Arabic system and well, I guess it's a basis of numerology or something but when I get fast, the world gets slow and when I get slow, the world gets fast and when I'm in the middle, everything seems to be going okay and I'm stable and people are just well, you know, it's kind of like the princess and the pea, you know? I'm just a really sensitive person. I had this white German shepherd one time. I got it from my eighth grade civics teacher. I was talking to my older brother on the phone the other day, and he said, well, Rich, how you doing? And I said, well, you know, I've got something wrong with my liver. I might have hepatitis, but that's the fucking grapes. And, you know, there was a movie, Missouri Grapes, and I don't know why everybody calls me Hollywood, but one time we were doing art therapy, and this lady told me that I wasn't doing the art assignment right. And I do art my own way, and mine was one of the best in class, really come to think of it. Oh, God, my hair. <laughs> I got so mad. I just took out the scissors and cut it off recently. I just don't know what to do. But I got around to see my mother and my ex-girlfriend, Annie Oakley, existential Marie Stokely. It's all over Christmas at Poplar Bluff, and boy, did it rain. And loves me. You'll see no other lady finer than her, really. Really. Oh, gosh, I'm just getting carried away. This is so hot. Here, let me take off my shoes. My nice Dexter shoes. You know, Dexter, Missouri is on Forage Rib down by Poplar Bluff. It's on the 90th longitudinal. And uh, two rivers over, you have the Mississippi floodplain. But I'm from Oz, the Oz Arks. And our people down there, lo and behold, are the Raiders. Did you see that movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark? <laughs> well, hold on, I can just get this thing off. Oh, oh. I almost felt that. <laughs> you know, there are three people on this board from Missouri. There's two from St. Louis and one from, from Poplar Bluff. And PB is the atomic symbol for lead on the elemental chart. And our water has this rust-colored water in it. And lead is some kind of thing for, you know, these these dense elements. But I got this at the OH, the Opportunity House. We went down there in group, and this lady came out with a shirt and said, how would you like this? You know, this is something you might like for 50 cents. And, well, I'll take it off now. Okay. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> well, here's what we wear in the hospital. It's my surgeon's gown. Ta! <laughs> it's so nice and yellow. It reminds me of Baba Ram Dass of the Dow people, you know. Hare, hare, oh, oh, mo. <laughs>
what's going? Am I happy with the way my life is going? Do I have a life? Do I have a life? Or am I just living? Or am I just living? Do not let these questions restrain or trouble you. Just point yourself in the direction of your dreams. Find your strength in the sound. And make your transition. 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 Do I spend too much time thinking and not enough doing? Did I try my hardest at any of my dreams? Did I purposely let others discourage me when I knew I could? Will I die never knowing what I could have been or could have done? Do not let these doubts restrain or trouble you.